Hi dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Aries and it's for January 2024. Happy New Year to everybody. I wish you a glorious Happy New Year, Happy 2024 and let us begin this reading. I'd like to welcome you my dear viewers and hope that you have a blessed year. I want you to be aware that prior to doing this coffee cup I always meditate and get in connection to your guardian angels, everybody's guardian angels who have got a little bit of Aries in them somewhere where it makes a big difference and I write down what is given to me on a piece of paper and deliver to you right at the end of this coffee cup plus so stay tuned for that and let us begin let me show you your coffee cup it looks different amazing very colorful I like it when it's a bit light and then a little bit dark and then more dark it just gives me so much so much to see so much to see okay let me put my glasses on because without glasses it's hopeless and welcome my beautiful viewers okay let, let us have a look here starting from this sector mm -hmm. yes that's changing okay i made that line accidentally okay so what i'm seeing my dear viewers is that you know some of you might be feeling as though you're missing out on something uh, it's as though you're not living uh, your full potential or there might be something missing or or it could be a situation where you're thinking am i missing out on anything am i missing out on any opportunities am i not at the right place at the right time you're questioning that and i feel like whatever you do don't lose faith in the divine don't lose faith in the universe and your guardian angels because they are going to make things all possible for you. It's just to do with divine timing. It's all about timing and that is your answer. If you've been questioning in your mind like why did I, why isn't this happening and how much longer must I wait and what is going to be next and, and why am I missing out on, like why am I going without? Have faith in the divine because they're telling you that there's a beautiful clock here, a golden clock showing divine timing is at play in your life. You don't have to worry. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. You don't have to question your um, where you're at or are you on the target. All that is 100%. You don't have to worry about that. I just feel like um, if you just have faith, you will give yourself the timing. And you'll see at the right time, you will be at the right place at the right time. And you'll meet the right person or the right people or the right opportunity. So that is so important. And that was the first thing I'm seeing. And that has started here. And it's continued a long way because even a bit later on, you are going through a lot. Like you might go, okay, yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. But then later on, you're coming and questioning things, maybe because you've you you've run you've run okay you're running out of patience <laughs> and aries are well known my dear aries you are well known for being impatient so it's okay maybe you've been patient enough it's been so long that's why they're showing you here that you're not missing out on anything and things are going to be moving on quite well for you in fact you're transcending to high levels and you're experiencing a lot of freedom extraordinary freedom i also feel like dreams about that you've had about the future are manifesting there's a lot of dreams that are coming true yes um you are contacting with someone this person that is going to change your life dramatically it's like they're putting a a new path in your life they're opening a new doorway something you never explored before you're doing together a dramatic change in your life and it's like you're connecting on a very, very high level. That's why I said divine timing. This is a divine connection. You're connecting on a very high level. And I feel it's with this that comes a period of peace and happiness and satisfaction more than anything else. You're so satisfied with the existence of this person in your life. It, it, this person gives you a, a sense of calmness. I guess your emotional needs are going to be met with this person. That's why you're feeling this way. So there's going to be a lot of good luck happening good fortune is coming also when this person comes a lot of good fortune is coming with this person so amazing and you know what the clue i'm seeing here it's coming at a time where you have a broken heart your heart is broken uh, in regard to a challenge something that was overwhelming you something that you might have had a lot of issues with i think it's at a time where you have or you're 
practically healing or going through the process of healing um, from a broken heart. I do feel like temptation is always there. Something is tempting you or someone is tempting you, but you've got to be very careful because I do see deception. So somebody isn't honest. Someone isn't being honest. So they're not being honest. They're not making wise choices. They might be making wrong choices. In fact, choosing wrong. And there is self-deception at the same time they might be fooling themselves so be very very careful of any kind of temptation whether it's yourself or somebody else very important something is coming to an end and there is a, a bit of a crisis and there, there is a little bit of regret i feel like uh, there could be a chaos that might bring on a sudden crisis and this might be causing you a little bit of misery you might be you know going through um wanting to take action This could be someone uh, is ending or being removed from your life. I feel like something or someone is being removed. Um, there's repression here. Somebody maybe, maybe, or it's the regret actually, what I'm seeing, the regret, suffering and silence about this person or this situation. Maybe you're trying to block also your thoughts and memories of someone that might have just passed on or might have left your life somehow. So you're blocking uh that you don't want to go through regret, regrets. You know, sometimes um, it looks to me sometimes that there might be some thoughts that come into your mind where they want you to do bad things like ooh, what you might consider bad, like, uh, you know, others might consider bad doing too much, maybe, maybe driving too fast or consuming alcohol too much or gambling or doing something that's that, that might be considered bad in the norm, uh, in the mainstream. So what I'm seeing is that self-discipline is important. When you, when you go through those stages, self-discipline is so important uh, that you pay attention. I feel like changes are coming on. You are, uh, I see a beautiful angel over, l l like over you hovering, and they are bringing you a lot of strength and a lot of courage. I also see major changes. Uh, a beautiful spanner, repairs are going to be, taking place around you around your life and i do see that something has been overwhelming you and suffocating you this situation is coming to an absolute ending where there was someone or a situation that you were overburdened or feeling that you had to do so much for this person or responsibilities you could have been taking care of a child or a pet or something or maybe just taking on too many jobs too many uh, commitments you were over committed and that is really um there's resolutions to these problems and they're coming to an end. So that, that part of your life is leaving. I see a new path starting, which is so beautiful. Um, you are, uh, you are sort of, you know, you started to look, you, something's happening where you're thinking about your foundations, where you are, what you need to do. Um, I feel like some of you want to commit to a new life. It's amazing. I'm seeing five everywhere, like so many changes. This is the fourth one I saw, and now I've got to talk about it. If you've been seeing five, 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 it's major changes that are taking place, transformations for families, transformations uh, in regard to your foundation, your home maybe, where you live, or, or somebody in your, in your house moving to another place. I just feel like a lot of... Um, commitments are taking place and committing to love to foundations to changes to better uh put yourself in a better place it's, it's all happening and you know what it's happening at a time where you're feeling stressed out a little bit depressed maybe about something uh, feeling at a loss maybe or emotional exhaustion not quite yourself uh dissatisfied before uh, that situation happened this could be uh, showing us a glimpse of what you're where you're at before the person that comes in your life and then everything becomes beautiful but before that uh you know you might be feeling a bit lost um maybe you don't feel to be quite honest with you um my dear aries i just feel like even though you're not alone but you feel alone maybe because you can't share your inner thoughts with someone that is that you consider family or dear to you or maybe to your parents maybe you're not able to open your heart you're not you don't have that person that you can be yourself with and talk about everything you feel and you've got that person really understanding you and helping you, you don't have that i feel like that's what's missing the support is lost from family or maybe maybe um I just feel like you're seeking support and, and you wanted sort of someone like 
unconditional loving like from family and when you're not seeing it from family perhaps you're searching at spiritual places that's what i'm feeling it's, it's just showing that you're not getting the the loving or the understanding or you know to be able to open your heart to someone you know and i do feel like the sun is shining and there's a great victory for you so you're not going to be alone you might be finding someone spectacular that will be there for you i feel like this person could be born this is really amazing what i'm going to tell you this person I feel like they could be born in the Chinese year of the dog. I'm seeing a dog here very, very strong. Some of you could be could be um, getting a pet. Okay, a dog represents a pet. It represents a child. It represents the Chinese year of the dog. And it represents also number one Chinese year of the dog, without a doubt. Then pet, then child. Uh, and this person... Is very warm-hearted you will love this person this person could come in your life in any way but they're bringing the sun with you this the sun with them so much uh so much light is coming into your life so much happiness you want to take time out and just look at everything i'm seeing you take time out you're sort of like you're sort of spending time just contemplating and and being away from everyday chores and work and all that but i feel like i really feel like there is someone like born in the Chinese year of the dog, someone very, very caring is coming into your life. And this person is going to bring you, a, they, they will literally what is it that they're doing? I think you, not only conditional loving, there's a lot of sincere friendship with this person, very deep friendship. You can trust this person. My dear um, Aries, I'm also seeing that there's lack of water in your body. Lack of water showing to me very strong. You need to replenish. And you don't need to drink high gollops of water. You just need very little amounts of sips of water throughout the whole day. I feel like there's some inflammation that has started and it needs this. Even though I'm not a doctor, but I, I do see things very deeply. So have a think about it and look into maybe the way you're drinking. Maybe you're going without and then drinking a big glass and you think that's it, you did it. But no, it has to be repl like replenishing and dealing with the limb system and any kind of inflammation. It has to take time over, like from morning till evening, till you sleep just two three sips of water i sell i always say two two sips every half an hour to replenish properly that's how the body replenishes so anyhow you've been working hard you probably don't have time for all this what i'm talking about but it's extremely important that you focus on this on this particular situation because i feel like there is some sort of inflammation that you can repair and i've, I've got the spanner there and it shows like you're busy trying to get to this goal and you're, you're 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 achieving your goal there's no doubt about it there's a wonderful goal that you're achieving i see a renewal uh, a new spark happening in your life i also feel like rejuvenating you're taking care of yourself there's rejuvenation there's healing healing after a crisis and i feel like a new life, a fresh start is destined for you without a doubt. A beautiful new start that is going to give you a lot of happiness. A new beginning, a new beginning that brings you closer to someone, closer family was you're becoming closer. There's joy and inner peace with someone. Truly, I feel like something amazing is starting, like a great love story starting with someone. Uh, maybe you're finding it hard to believe because believe it or not, it's happening in the Chinese year of the dragon. Chinese year of the dragon hmm. actually before maybe even for some of you before the Chinese year of the dragon maybe it'll start December January because the Chinese year of the dragon begins in February so I feel like I've got the dragon here but I've also got the rabbit sitting there saying to me hey me it depends what you are for example I'll just give you an example if you're born in the Chinese year of the rooster then yes the dragon will give you the true love but if you're born in the Chinese year of the monkey then the rabbit, the sea at 2023, before it ends, it should give you that which is going to heal your heart or that desire or that beautiful love affair or whatever that your goal is, whatever it may be. It might not be love. It might be money. It might be a position, a ranking somewhere. Whatever it is, it depends on the Chinese year. And my dear viewers, the reason I use Chinese year to make you understand is because the ancient way of me doing things, seeing things, they won't be understandable in today's language because there are no books. There's nothing that's written about them. This is a knowledge that was passed on verbally from, you know, grandfather to grandfather to, you know, like that, that comes that way. So what I do, I've converted it 
to the Chinese, and it works perfect. That's the only way I can bring on the Chinese and make you understand. Uh, instead of saying what I have to say, and, and there are um, very strange um, numbers and, and letters that are from ancient times that you want to understand, so I always talk about Chinese. It is so imperative that you pay attention, those of you who say, oh, no, you, you lost me when it came to the Chinese. Uh, it's so important that you pay attention because the Chinese, I use my method, my ancient way using the Chinese. Uh, to get my points across to you. So always have faith and believe what, what, uh, believe in what I'm saying because I know what I'm talking about. This ch Even the Chinese I talk about, the way, the method, isn't spoken of in any Chinese year. They don't know much about this, what I'm talking about. So always remember, everything I do, I have a reason. Uh, and the example I gave you was just to give you an example how certain animals or certain ease that you're born, um, how they govern in different areas and how every year gives to who and and, and takes from who so you've got to be uh, you've got to understand what i mean so that was just an example um and it's important for those of you who understand this depth this very depth uh this kind of spirituality they will understand what i'm talking about so for those of you who are who don't know much about this have patience and you will see that things will make sense after a while watching all this appreciation i see a big question about appreciation it's like it's like you haven't been appreciated and it's like now you're saying i demand to be appreciated how much longer will this go on and i feel like you're healing from that so i see also healing mechanism here a healing method that's coming on from your guided angels they're bringing on some healing in regard to appreciation You'll see love all around you. You'll see that everything is going well. Simple knowledge, you know, um, simple knowledge of truth is, is supporting you to, to, to be acknowledged and to be recognized. I see healing, and, oh, healing and freedom together. Healing and freedom and recognition. It's very important, very important to practice compassion seeing things from a different perspective or from a fresh perspective is going to also heal you. It's amazing. I keep seeing healing. And by the way, my dear viewers, I do see a lot of transformations and a new beginning. But at the same time, I'm seeing a lot of these uh, connected to Chinese Year of the Dragon, major transformations in the Chinese Year of the Dragon. And I'm seeing new beginnings for many, 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 many uh, of Aries and and also the collective, actually. Those of you who have Aries in your, if your sun sign is in Aries. And a lot of people. I'm seeing major changes and new beginnings. Okay, talking about inheritance and abundance. I'm seeing a big lump of money. A major investment that's paying off. Stock market could be wealth building kind of a method that's paying off. I don't know. But it's major. It's really, really big. And I feel like it's come to a, a stage where... It's sort of like, it could be a big real estate, big money is coming. It could be inheritance, could be a gift, could be a windfall. Have a look at your money reading to see more about it, because that's more refined about your money uh, for Aries. Very important. But I do see something amazing, something that's giving you permanence, changing everything, bringing on abundance, bringing on, I don't know, self-employment, ownership of offices and buildings and real estates. There's just so many roadways opening. But most of all, all your dreams, projects, goals ha will be completed and achieved. That's very important for you to know. And everything's going to be plentiful. Remember that. Financial rewards are going to be endless and you're going to complete everything you've wanted. So that is truly amazing. Happiness and celebrating, celebrating life's passage. That's what I'm seeing. Major happiness. A lot of rewards. Um, a time of freedom and abundance, a time where you can do whatever you want. Um, maybe some of you are having early retirement. I feel like somebody, like you're walking free from restrictions, free from time frames, like, you know, <laughs> deadlines, all that is over. It's just like, you know, going through life without any any problems. It's so amazing. I also see harmony, a lot of harmony. And I see two people united hand in hand. Uh, united like it shows like a lot of loving a lot of healing together a lot of changes a beautiful beginning of a romance it's spectacular with it comes the abundance it's amazing right next to it next to, adjacent to it there's abundance and there is um this amazing connection 
It's going to be, there's going to be a lot of sensuality, a lot of lust. And then that lust is turning to love, believe it or not. <laughs> it's amazing what I'm seeing here. Um, some of you are leaving your family even, considering moving in with this person. It, it's just becoming explosive. It, there is so much passion. It must be an air energy with fire. Can be fire, fire. Can be earth. That's foundations. Yeah, it could be air. I feel like air energy is very strong here. Um, air energy being Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But we'll find out at the end. I'll go through the ending and search for those. When I'm reading now, the important areas and then i'll go back to the areas where they tell us all about usually it's at the end but there's so much there i'm seeing a love uh, a love partnership that's a ma made in heaven it's like it's going to transcend you to levels beyond i see that you you're even expressing your love with gifts you're buying gifts or they're buying new gifts something amazing like that is happening there's a lot of gifts wrappings and gifts um i guess this is the way to demonstrate love maybe for this person or for yourself um, and finding, of course, what's important and taking action on that is also being shown here. So very important that you're turning your headlights on, you're falling, you're falling deep. You're absolutely in love with somebody's absolutely in love with you and they're going to state it. They're going to declare it. They're going to say it, that they're falling for you big time. This person could be, not could be, um, they are your healer. They actually make you know how important you are. They actually, what's the word? They yeah, they do let you know that you matter and how important you are. And they're always, one thing about them you will love, it's that they've got the yes there for everything you want. They're so accommodating because they want to make you happy. That's why. Don't look at it in a negative way. They say yes to things you say because they want to please you. And that's truly a wonderful love when somebody wants to please you wants to say i know a lot of people don't agree with this especially like the younger generations they might not believe in this but when somebody wants to please you and they they do say yes that's the unconditional loving that comes usually from nurturing parents so when somebody happens uh, they happen to be that way then you know that this person is overwhelmed and they appreciate you so they don't know how to please you by saying yes to everything like to your every whim like they say anyhow um maybe i'm maybe i do sound old-fashioned uh, for many of you but this is what i'm seeing here and that's what i'm that's the way to explain it and you will see that there is a beautiful um there's magic happening between you and this person. Again, I was right about the air energy. Not me being right again. Again, I'm seeing air energy here very strong. And this time, this time I can actually talk about it. And you know what I'm seeing, Gemini? One, two, three. One, two, three. Three Gemini. Three Gemini. So Gemini here, very strong. So they're very good communicators. And you love that. Okay. Uh, Gemini is very good for Aries. In a way, they get very connected. Okay. And there's uh, Libra, two Libra, and one Aquarius. So the majority here is Gemini, but two Libra there. Also, and one Aquarius. There's also fire like yourself, which makes it amazing. My dear Aries, you're fire. And I'm seeing fire here. Aries twice. Wow. Like yourself. You could be meeting someone that's exactly like you. And um, they've got a bit of Leo. Yeah, there's one Leo, one Sagittarius, but um, Aries more. So I feel like, my dear Aries, that this person is very much like you. And that's why you're united. And maybe that's why they say yes. Because they find bits and pieces of themselves within you. I'm seeing water energy very strong. One, two, three. Scorpio. Mm, the sexy Scorpio. So there's that... Um, uh, Scorpio there. Scorpio gives you, gives, uh, they're analytical, they're very much, very much into you, and they're very sensual. So Scorpio 3, Cancer 2 on 1 Pisces. Water energy, they're very strong, uh, and Scorpio being uh, very strong one. Then there's double Cancer. Very nurturing, and the passion of Scorpio, the nurturing of the Cancer, and there is one Pisces, the romance of Pisces. Beautiful. So, um, finally, I'm seeing earth energy, which is wonderful because you need earth energy, my dear Aries. You need them to have a little bit of earth in them. I'm just fixing my glasses. Um, you need a little bit of um, earth energy because it gives you stability. It gives you gener regeneration, uh, regenerating power, and it ignites you even more. So you, you thrive when there's earth energy. And the earth energy that I'm seeing the most here is one, two, three, Virgo. Virgo being the strongest, then there is two Taurus and one Capricorn, but Virgo leading the way ranking up and that shows the majority will be in the earth energy they'll have virgo in them so virgo wow and that shows to me that you will have that's where you'll have the stability and the connection is going to be overwhelming because you sit well and comfortable when you are with earth 
especially when they have the air in them to give you the flair and the sensuality and they've got the water to give you the the coolness that you need and and um and the fire that goes well with you and you blend well together now talking about all this i'm seeing the chinese ears now we've got double snake here chinese ear of the snake two roosters chinese ear of the rooster chinese ear of the ox one two three buffalo is leading here chinese ear of the buffalo i've got three buffaloes two snakes chinese ear of the snake now let me just do this slowly three buffaloes chinese ear of the buffalo whether it's you or the person chinese ear of the buffalo the soulmate of the buffalo it's i'm not seeing it here but i'm just letting you know who the um the soulmate is of the buffalo it is the monkey and it is the horse now talking about the monkey there's the monkey right next to the buffalo there's one two three chinese ear of the monkey whether it's yourself or the person and the soulmate of the monkey is the buffalo and also it is the the cat rabbit um the snake when i said the snake there's two of them chinese ear of the snake and the soulmate of the snake is the dog and also one more the dog and Gosh, I went blank. Why? There's one more. Hmm. The rat. That's it. I was trying to think. The rat. Chinese ear of the rat is the other one. Now I'm seeing also the rooster. Chinese ear of the rooster. There's two of them. Chinese ear of the rooster. Soulmate is the dragon. Um, and then there is what else I'm seeing here Chinese ear of the cat wow there's one two three cats Chinese ear of the cat rabbit which the soulmate of the rabbit is the monkey and the dog the dog is there three times one two three three dogs Chinese ear of the dog which is the soulmate of the snake and soulmate of the rabbit cat wow and my dear viewers that is the end of your reading before i finish it oh my god it's 26 minutes please do support me by seeing these videos till the end i'm gonna have to pass on the information i'm gonna go by the speed of light please support again because the videos are too long and there's technical issues when i do that but i can't go slower than i do uh, like i'm not doing as i'm not being able to be as fast as i used to be so i would really appreciate your support and not stopping the video seeing it through till the end or if you don't have time just letting it run its course and finish by itself that is going to support me big, big time and i really appreciate your support now i'm gonna go through wow starting with the messages it says it's complicated something about family there is something that may be complicated it is it could be to do with family uh inspired you will be inspired there is someone pisces inspiring you remember the dog when i was looking at the dog in your reading i said to you somebody's coming and they could be born the oh my god there was three dogs and i saw the dog somebody coming and changing your life and being supportive and being and giving you unconditional care and loving and friendship perhaps even that person next to it there were two fish and i thought no nah, it can't be pisces i didn't think about it i was going to mention it then i forgot now i remember i remember why because it's written here pisces uh, I was given the message Pisces, something about Pisces. Uh, could be family matters, could be, uh, what else could it be? Family, could be somebody inspiring, could be that, uh, the, the Chinese ear of the dog that I saw someone very helpful and supportive, could be that person that could be Pisces born of the Chinese ear of the dog. But I did see the dogs here, so the dog is uh, impacting everything. I'm also, I was told buffalo, three buffaloes, and there's the ox again. They're called ox or buffalo. I was given that too, so... They're impacting your life big time. Now, if you are born in the Chinese year of the monkey, you will be amazed because soulmate of the monkey is the Chinese year of the ox buffalo, which is one sign. They call it either ox or buffalo and Chinese year of the dog. So you will be laughing. You would be in heaven if you were to meet your soulmate. And it's one of these signs. The reason I talked about the monkey because the monkey is the soulmate of this and the horse. Actually, the horse is the soulmate of... Um, not the dog, but the buffalo. Okay, back to this, satisfied. You will be satisfied about something or with someone, satisfaction. Something about sugar or sugar cane. Those of you who are dealing with sugar cane business or sugar, or those of you who are eating too much sugar, you've got to be very careful not to consume too much sugar so that you don't end up having diabetes. Now, lover. There's a great lover coming. This, that, that they, this person's going to be very good with you. You're going to have great satisfaction together mm. oranges something about oranges maybe you're eating too much oranges or maybe you're starting a business of oranges <laughs> something about oranges you'll know what that is sleeping problems those of you who are having sleeping problems 
you have to look into meditation or any kind of silencing your mind and just listening to very soft, very soft Zen music. Um, social media, very important. Something's happening in social media. They're saying get ready and pack. You're going somewhere. You're traveling. Some of you could be traveling. Someone is not being honest. Mm, there was deception here. Wow. Someone not being honest and we had deception. So that's twice. This is important. Now we've got nothing. Uh, maybe nothing. Nothing will mean something. Nothing. You will feel the difference. You will feel the difference. And then Chinese year of the pig or the actual pig itself. Maybe some of you are having a pig as a pet or, or having a piggery farm possibly. There is a pig or Chinese year of the pig. Now, um, dedicate your passion into what you believe. That's very important. Dedicating your passion to what you believe. That was the last message there. Finally, I'll just go through the names. Initials, I've got, I was given three times the letter A for Anita, Alaska, um, Adam, um, Abby, Andrew, Andy. And then I was given O for Olive, Oliver, um, Olivia, and uh, Oscar, V, twice o, o twice a three times v for veronica v for victor v for vince v for um vivian y for yellow y for yasin y for yasmin once and then b twice b for bob b for betty b for butterfly um bunny belinda biblina and then i've got r r for rome r for um um, Rhonda, R Raymond, and then E, E for Evelyn, E for Erica, E for um, Emily, E for Eve, and E for Edward. M for money, M for Mar uh, Mar Monica. God. <laughs> I keep getting mad about, gosh, what's wrong with me? Okay, let me just concentrate. Merkaba. Now, M for Merkaba means the vessel that we all are in, the vessel that we use in our body. It keeps coming. But uh, Monica and um, Martin, uh, Michael, Michelle. And then N for Nancy, Nicole, Nina, and um, Norman, and Nicholas. K for Keith, um, Kevin, Karen, and Kathy. And then we've got number one was given to me as a number. Number one is the beginning. Something beginning is happening for you. It's connected to people born in January, which are Aquarians and Capricorn. It is connected to Chinese year of the rat. And it is also connected to a new beginning that brings you abundance starting from the time you see this up to a month and then into the new year, the Chinese year of the dragon 2024. There is a new beginning for everyone. It's going to bring you plenty. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. My dear viewers, do give me a thumbs up. Help me um, seeing the video through, supporting me in that way and support me by subscribing to the channel. If you haven't, everything I do is free. Please know that when you deal with me in this channel, there's no money. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Don't believe in anyone who says, oh, we're selling this or we're doing uh, private readings. I don't do private readings ever. And I um, don't sell anything and I don't deal with anything to do with money. Everything is absolutely free. Please be aware of that. Be mindful of that so that nobody, no scammer scams you out of money. That's number one. Supporting me is the best way is to subscribing to the channel, seeing the videos through till the end without stopping them and clicking on one or two ad. That gives me a tip from the channel and I would really appreciate your help. Do share with me your thoughts about everything, your stories, share with me. I love reading, reading from you and my beautiful viewers do have a safety, happy holidays to each and every one of you. A lot of love and light and a lot of blessings. Namaste.